seven more titles added to the reference quality transfer list. So without further ado, let's just get on with it. Brass tanks. What's going on people? It's your boy, Brass Tax in this bitch, you already know. Hazelnut latte, sugar free. That's pretty much it. Made me feel amazing in this bitch. Now, this is what is uh, regarded by the general consensus as the reference quality list. I've done two videos on this already. We got one more right here. There may be another one. I think that there needs to be another one, but we got some titles here that we need to talk about. Now, some I agree with, some in my opinion come close. But irrespective of that, these are all A1 transfers in this bitch. All of them. So let's just get started. Passengers. God damn. This movie, amazing in this picture. Jennifer Lawrence, baby. Look fantastic in 4K. You look flawless in 4K, baby. I'm going to do a separate video just about you in 4K. Great actress, beautiful, lovely. That's beside the point. The movie itself is a great movie and the transfer is gorgeous. Gorgeous. HDR A1. Transfer A1. Detail clarity. A1 in this bitch. It's a winner, people. I totally understand why this movie would make the reference quality list, and I gave it a reference quality. I think, right? Pretty much. Yeah, it's reference in this bitch. The Secret Life of Pets. Another really good animated 4K transfer. HDR, the clarity, the detail. There's got a beautiful three-dimensional pop to it. It really does. Things stand out. It's a huge uptick over the... Uh, 1080p Blu-ray. It is gorgeous. Another reference quality disc. It's a good movie too. It's a little bit like Toy Story. Not maybe the upper tier of animated movies, but it's it's decent. It's decent 100%. Magnificent Seven. Now, I remember I rated this one very highly. I think I gave it a reference, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. In any case, very, very noticeable upgrade from the 1080p. It's a filmic upgrade, so it's not going to be noise-free. It's going to be grainy as a mofo, but the colours, the HDR was just A1. I think the HDR really took it over the edge, and it was a huge, huge step up from the 1080p in a lot of areas. Mechanic resurrection in this bitch. No chemistry between him and uh, Jessica Alba. Jessica Alba, baby. You look fantastic in 4K, baby. You my top 10. You my top 10. Become single? You be in my top 5. No, you weren't in the top 5. But you want to be in my top 3? Be single in this bitch. Good action. Really poor CGI. I remember there was a few explosions which looked suspect as hell. But apart from that, it is an A1 transfer. It is a beautiful looking transfer. It is a reference transfer. Or near enough in my opinion. Ghostbusters. 2016, that movie's grown on me. I've liked it more and more over the various times I've watched it. I'd watch part two if it was out. I wouldn't go to cinema and watch that bitch. It's a good movie if you just look at it as a good night out. If you start looking at it as Ghostbusters, you're going to be very disappointed because it's very, it's a big departure from the original Ghostbusters. This is more of a really good comedy that happens to be Ghostbusters. And, and just to see Thor make a fool out of himself, God damn. Especially the extended version. He making an even bigger fool out of himself in that bitch. So, it may be worth it. Beautiful transfer, really. is. Even the 3D was phenomenal. And the 4K has the extended version. Lone Survivor. Great movie. Great movie. Great acting. Great action. Great HDR. Fantastic HDR. Great detail. It's a reference quality disc. Hands down. I never reviewed that movie. But if I did, I would have given it the reference quality. It's really that good, people. If you're looking for reference, that's one to pick up for sure. The HDR is the real winner in this movie. Angry Birds. Angry Birds looks gorgeous. You know, already on 1080p, animated movies look amazing, right? But this one really pushed it over to the edge. It was bright. It was vibrant. There's a nice three-dimensional pop to it. There's a great sense of depth to it. The colours stand out a lot more. There's a lot of variation in the colours with the birds. Gorgeous transfer. Hands down. Now, there's the list done, people. Just doing this list, there is some more. We'll leave that for another week as well, and I'll get to that too. But I think the next week, there's not going to be that many. There's a few extra animated ones I want to see, which I haven't had a chance to. So I'm going to see them anyway. But that's the reference quality list, people. So hope you appreciated it. Definitely hit the like button if you did like it and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate all the love and support. 
Thank you guys very much. I'm going to catch up with you soon.